and welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for today thursday the 3rd of november mike smith seen at the gold markets here and of course we are dusting ourselves off after a significant night in financial markets subsequent to the fed's interest rate decision let's have a look at what's coming across the news today of course we saw u.s equities drop significantly after that rate rise of 0.75 it was priced in but it was the suggestions of a continued aggressive stance which i think caught the market by surprise a little bit and we saw the nasdaq for example down three percent we're seeing the us futures mixed in asia but all fairly near neutral at this stage now nasdaq is actually slightly to the upside when last i looked asian indices are obviously following that very weak us lead with the asx trading lower in excess of two percent subsequent to the open we have seen a little bit of a recovery at this stage but i wouldn't be holding my breath european equity futures are also pointing to a lower open not surprisingly the us dollar index moved higher again go pull back from 1650s trading around about 1630 at this stage oil didn't fall and he's testing the 200 ema around about 97 on the brent cfd drew contract one wonders whether we are likely to see $100 oil again if the current trend continues. Copper futures are trading in that short-term range still, and the VIX has moved slightly higher on equity weakness around about 27 this morning. Bitcoin hasn't done much and is holding that 20,000 key level. Didn't drop off like other asset classes, uh, but neither did it move higher. It is a busy day again for markets to digest. Lots of new information coming into the market. We've got significant earnings coming out of the US, including Moderna, Conico, Philips, Starbucks and PayPal and many more of course. On the data front we've got a services PMI day. We've already had the Australian number out and that's beaten expectations slightly but still is shy of that key 50 level which would put it in expansion so still slightly contracting. Later on as well as global PMI we've got Eurozone jobs and also the US weekly jobs number before of course tomorrow's non-farm payrolls number and to add to that, we've got the Bank of England interest rate decision also due. So, of course, be wary of that if you are looking at GB pound crosses. A couple of charts to have a look at the caught our eye this morning. Uh, we'll start with the Aussie yen on the daily chart. And you can see now we've drifted back down to this key level around about 93.40. If we put it on the line chart, you'll see this more clearly in terms of how important this level has been right across this chart and if we do breach that then the next level of interest could be as low as 92.53 which is around about 80 pips from where we are now uh, if we look at the short term chart you can see we are testing that level at this stage and there's very little to stop it falling down through that uh, we see the last couple of times it was in this range it was straight down and then straight up again so one wonders whether we could get a fairly significant sell on this but it may pause about 93 but one to watch for sure now yesterday we put out oml as a chart of the day so U media uh, this actually is holding up pretty well and is testing that 130 level that we talked about yesterday has been a key level of interest you can see the high level of interest in this stock over the last couple of days uh, so we're still suggesting that this might be worth keeping an eye on it is booking the market trend we certainly don't think there's enough evidence to go short for right now uh, on ASX stocks. Uh, but this looks interesting. Um, and possibly a far better strategy is looking for stocks like this that are booking the market trend rather than trying to bottom pick those that are dropping significantly. Either way, it is a high risk day. So take care in markets today. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.